Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from Senior Bytes, and this is the second video tutorial on how to install Ubuntu on a PC. Uh, we downloaded the Ubuntu image for uh, version 14.04.3, as you can see here. It's the 64-bit uh, version. ISO means it's an image. So now we need to burn this on a DVD. And this means that you need to have a DVD burner on your computer uh, for burning DVDs obviously. So to do that you need a special tool. It's an open source program and I'm doing the search now on Google for Infra Recorder. There's Infra Recorder. So infrarecorder.org. So click that. Uh, also, I'll check where my downloads are. Okay, so the downloads at the moment is for Ubuntu, where the image file is. But now I want to go to because I'll keep this uh, uh, info recorder on my computer. So I have a folder called Computer Essentials where I download programs. Uh, it's just a procedure that I follow. I have a folder called Computer Essentials to install info recorder. So, okay, so it's going to Computer Essentials and I will close that. I'm using uh, Mozilla Firefox. This is a web browser for Mozilla Firefox. Okay, on the right side here, I select the link for downloads. And my version of Windows is 32 bit. So I'll just select, I don't, I won't select the installer for 64. I'll select the installer for just Windows 2000 XP, Vista or 7. So click installer link. It'll take me to a page that will automatically, here we go, IR Info Recorder 053 Execute. So then I'll click save. I'll go up to tools, look at downloads and it's download it. So I'll click the folder on the right to open containing folder. There it is there. So I'll left double click on my mouse which will open it. I get a user account control. Do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? I select yes. Okay, so the English by default is English. There are several other languages. Uh, where they go? So no, keep it at English and I click OK. Uh, this is the installation wizard. So yes, I want to install it. Do I agree with the GNU general public license? Okay, so I go. I agree. I accept all the default settings here. So I click next. It will go into uh, the C drive, program files, info recorder. That's a default setting. I accept that and click install. And as you can see, it doesn't take long to install info recorder. And that's it. It's done. Okay, so there was a desktop. Set or install uh, on the desk. Uh, here we go. Info recorder. So double click that icon. And here we have write image. Okay. So I will look for a blank DVD and I will put it in my DVD player. Uh, 
Okay, so DVD player is installed, it's flashing. Okay, so I want to write an image to my DVD and that's the image. So I click that and highlight it. Okay, and you notice the file types, it says ISO CU IMG, it is an ISO file. So I click open the file. I get this box here. By default it's got the DVD burner, CD, DVD, writer. Okay, and I leave all the settings as they are. It says eject the disk after writing. So once it's finished, it'll pop the DVD out and that tells me yes it's already been burned. So I click OK and now it's going through the process of writing the image to the DVD. Okay, so it's now burning the DVD. Now that uh, image of Ubuntu is one gigabyte. So it'd be interesting to see how long it takes to burn the DVD. Okay, so that's it. The DVD has been written on or burnt. It's popped out. I've removed the DVD and now it's ready to be installed on my PC. So I click OK to close that. I go up the top here and close the program. So that's it. So in the next tutorial I'll show you how to install Ubuntu on a PC. I'm Daryl Williams from Senior Bytes. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you with the next tutorial. Goodbye.